WKAR presents Quizbusters. Production of Quizbusters is made possible in part by Consumers Energy, building Michigan's future by supporting excellence in education. Consumers Energy counts on us, and by viewers like you. Today, the Cavaliers of Corona take on the Hornets of Pursley in the first round of our tournament. Now, here's the host of Quizbusters. Matt Ottinger. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome to Quizbusters. Glad to have you with us. We are in green division action this time around in our first uh, seeded round of our tournament, the, the bracketed tournament. Check out the brackets at WKAR.org. You can follow us right down to the grand championship. And speaking of the grand championship, we'll talk about the prizes at halftime. Uh, the students don't have to say anything about themselves this time, and that's a relief to many of them. But I get to introduce them, and we're going to do that right now, starting with the Cavaliers of Corona High School. That team is Stephen Clarkson, Brian Esser, Charlie Piggott is the captain, and Ryan Buholtz on the end. Their alternate is Sarah Martin, and their advisor is Mary Johnson. They'll play the Hornets from Kersley High School, and that team is Justin Eckert, Terry Seitz, the captain, Chad Mosier, and Kevin Ormache. Their alternates are Robbie Cook and Katie Ames, the advisors, Mike Skidmore, and Nina Hidalgo. Chad and Steven are playing the first time this season. We're glad to have them in and the other six returning players. Glad to see everybody. Let's have some fun with the Quick Ten. We'll get things started with ten toss-up questions. And the Quick Ten begins with question one. In 1994, the nation of Chad was awarded control of the Ozu Strip over the objections of what northern neighbor... Uh, Corona Charlie. Libya. Libya is north of Chad. That's right. Question two. Who created the characters of Edmund Dantes... And uh, Corona Brian. Alexander Dumas. Uh, so Alexander Dumas and the Three Musketeers and Count of Monte Cristo. That's right. Uh, I didn't even get to the Three Musketeers part. Question three. A national convention vote of 361 to 288 ordered the execution of what man recaptured at Bahrain after he fled Paris? Uh, Corona Charlie. Louis the Sixteenth. That's right. Fled Paris with Marie Antoinette. Question four. In addition to their solo albums, both Latoya Luckett and Kelly Rowland were early members of what, uh, Kersley Chad? Destiny's Child. Destiny's Child is right for ten. Question five. What poet wrote attacks on English divorce law, defended free speech in the Areopagitica, and wrote the epic Paradise Lost? Corona Brian. John Milton. John Milton wrote Paradise Lost. That's right. Question six. The Chakralski method grows crystals of what element? The second most abundant in the Earth's crust which joins with oxygen to make quartz. Uh, Kersley Justin. Silicone. Silicone does. That's right. Question seven. Which 1824 symphony in D minor, whose second movement is a scherzo, has a final movement built on the Friedrich Schiller poem, Ode to Joy? It's Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. Question eight. What man who explained the principles of Stoic philosophy, philosophy in his work Meditations was a Roman emperor during the second century A.D.? Uh, Corona Charlie. Marcus Aurelius. Marcus Aurelius is right. Question nine. What mythical woman, born from an egg laid by her mother Leda, went on to marry Menelaus? Uh, Corona Charlie. Helen of Troy. Helen of Troy. The, the, the space launched a thousand ships. Question 10. Which general academic field is studied by Grigory Perlman, who turned down the 2006 Fields Medal for his proof of the... Uh, Corona Charlie. Math. Mathematics. That's exactly right. And that's 10. Good job, players. I had pegged some of those as difficult, 9 out of 10 on some tough material, so well done, everybody. Obviously, the balance to Corona as we're just getting started. Now we're playing for control of a bonus category. Everybody's in for this. His most famous play is Pippa Passes. He's more famous for poems about the painter of Madonna of the Harpies, Andrea del Sarto, and about a woman whose heart was too soon made glad. Name this Victorian poet of my last duchess, the husband... 
Uh, Corona Bryan. Robert Browning. Of Elizabeth Barrett. Robert Browning is right. Bonus category for Corona. You'll start off by naming these writers born in the Midwest. Charlie, you'll give me answers for your teammates. Born in St. Paul, he met his future wife Zelda in Alabama and went on to write The Great Gatsby. That's Scott Fitzgerald. That's right. His hometown of Salk Center, S-A-U-K, was fictionalized as Gopher Prairie in Main Street. Sinclair Lewis. That's right. For 20, he coined the phrase conspicuous consumption in The Theory of the Leisure Class. Eugene O'Neill. No. Thorstein Veblen. That was a tough one there for that third one, but you got 20 on the category. You're up to 100. New toss-up for everybody. This state's governor, Linda Lingle, declared a state of emergency after an October 2006. Kersley Justin. Louisiana. No, I'm sorry. That's wrong. Corona, you can hear it. You cannot confer, however. Uh, Linda Lingle declared a state of emergency after an October 2006 disaster forced the evacuation of 3,000 people from three hotels. Name this state where an offshore magnitude 6.6 .6 earthquake knocked out power on its largest eponymous... Uh, Ryan. Hawaii. Island was the last word of that question, and uh, Ryan didn't wait for it, but didn't have to. Uh, bonus category for Corona. Languages. What is the only official national language of each of the following? First, Argentina. Spanish. Spanish is right. Next, Austria. German. German is right for 20. Suriname. Suriname. French. Dutch. Dutch. It is Dutch. 20 points. Well done. Bang, bang, bang on all three of those. And a full sweep of points gives you 50 on Corona as we're ready to play our first top quiz. 120 points on the line, so we can put a lot more points on the board. Everybody's going to work with in the first half. All your answers begin with B-E-N. Stephen from Corona, Justin from Kersley will start things off for us. A curve or turn in Stephen. Bend. A bend, that's right. Next, the octogenarian crooning singer first popular in the 1950s and best known for his signature song, I Left My Heart in San Francisco. He's actually become well known to a younger generation through MTV specials and so forth. Tony Bennett is his name. Final question. Any symptom of a disease which is not malignant? Stephen. Benign. Benign is what I wanted. That's right. Brian now from Corona. Kerry from Kersley. The name of 15, excuse me, the name of 16 popes dating, Brian? Benedict. Benedict is right. Or the first name of the most famous traitor in U.S. history. Next. A distillation product from coal and petroleum used as a solvent and as a fuel. Looking for benzene that time. Final question. The compound word for a substitute on a sports team. Who sees very little, Brian? Bench warmer. A bench warmer. That's right for 10. Captains now Charlie from Corona, Chad from Kersley. The 1959 Charlton Heston movie, Charlie. Ben Hur. Best known for its chariot race. That's right. Next. The Republic in West Africa, flanked by to Charlie? Benin. Benin is right. Uh, several others that, that, that surround it. Finally, someone who receives income from a will. Or an insurance. Charlie. Beneficiary. Nicely done, Charlie. Very quick on that buzzer with some tricky words. Ryan now from Corona. Kevin from Kersley. A standard of excellence or achievement. Uh, Kevin. Benchmark. A benchmark against which similar things must be measured. That's right. Next. The film, television, and radio comedian. Best remembered for routines about his stinginess and his violin playing. Seems unlikely if they weren't going to get Tony Bennett, they wouldn't get Jack Benny either, both from, from distant generations. Ryan and Kevin, final question for you. The trademarked name for a brand of dihydramine that provides allergy relief. Ryan. Benadryl. Benadryl is the brand name, and that's our pop quiz. And we're looking for the f uh, audio bonus category for a team that gets control of a toss-up. We're through with the pop quiz, so everybody's back in for this toss-up. Usually about 10 micrometers long, they contain microtubules and other proteins. Non-motile ones are used as sensors, while motile ones are used in the trachea to transport mucus upwards. 
Name these organelles. So, uh, Kersley Justin. Cilia. Cilia is right. Well done. Uh, used for motion shorter than flagella, which could have been where you were going with that. But uh, Kersley, some catching up to do. Let's see how you do with the audio bonus. You're going to hear the audio first after we've listened. We'll have some uh, questions for you. First, some music. Here's your audio clue. Have you ever From what Disney animated feature does that song come? Pocahontas. That's right. Name the Englishman whom the real-life Pocahontas married. John Rolfe. John Rolfe. John Rolfe is right. And finally, the name of Pocahontas's tribe was also taken by its leader, her father. What is that name? Said again. Powhatan. Powhatan is right. Chief Powhatan. <laughs> Let's just say it's a good thing they can confer on the bonuses because I think that came from one of the players on the team, and that's just fine. Uh, full, full 50 there, so 80. New toss-up players. This man was a sharecropper who avenged his sister's rape by shooting the owner of a hacienda. He was leading a gang of cattle rustlers when Abraham Gonzalez asked him to field an army during the Mexican Revolution. Named this bandit, pursued... <laughs> Kersley Kevin. Pancho Villa. Pancho Villa is right. Bandit pursued by John J. Pershing. Uh, Kersley, answer these questions about Thomas Sutter. Sutter's fort was the destination of which party caught during the winter in the Sierra Nevada who may have resorted to cannibalism to survive? The Donner Party. The Donner Party is right. James Marshall discovered gold near Sutter's fort shortly after the Donner Party survivors arrived, leading to a gold rush in which western state? California. California is right. Sutter's son, John, founded which city on the site of Sutter's Fort after the beginning of the gold rush? I need your answer. Sacramento. It is the capital of Sacramento. Well done. 20 points. Two very good teams. Lots of points on the board. New toss-up. In June 2006, the leader of this country's largest political party, the UMNO, and its Barisan National Coalition, was accused of betraying his predecessor, Mahathir Mohamed, by scrapping a new bridge linking it to Singapore. Name this country. Karana Charlie. Malaysia. It is Malaysia with, with capital Kuala Lumpur. Karana bonus category for you. It is usually measured in either grams per cubic centimeter or kilograms per cubic meter. First, name this quantity with dimensions of mass per unit volume. Density. Right. Scientists sometimes talk about density in terms of this dimensionless quantity, the ratio of the density of a material to the density of water. Buoyancy. I need your answer. Buoyancy. Oh, good guess, but not right. Specific gravity is the term that I wanted. Ten points on that bonus. A rare misstep for our players who've been sweeping several of these bonus bets. But still, Corona has the 250-point lead. You saw, though, 50 at a time. This, this, this uh, game can turn around in a hurry. So we'll play the second half and see what happens in just a couple of minutes. But as I said at the start of the show, the players can relax for a moment while I remind you that they're playing for fun, for pride, obviously, and ultimately for prizes. At the end of the season, we have some terrific grand prizes awaiting our two championship teams. Here's Dan Baer to tell you all about those. Quizbusters is pleased to announce exciting 18th season prizes for our championship teams. Students from 64 area high schools are competing for academic excellence with the help of the MSU Office of Admissions and the Office of the Provost. Each division championship team will receive four $5,000 MSU tuition scholarship offers to Michigan State University. Contingent on admission to MSU, each scholarship is awarded for the freshman year only and must be used immediately following high school graduation. Students must maintain 
gain at least 12 credits per semester. The two division champions will then compete in the season finale grand championship, with the winning team receiving five one-year textbook scholarships from the student bookstore. Students accepting these scholarships must enroll for classes at Michigan State University. Some other restrictions will apply. These terrific championship prizes are offered through the continued generosity and support of the provost, the student bookstore, and the MSU Office of Admissions. All right, Dan, thank you very much. Second half. In uh, some of our games this season, 250 to 130 would have been a final score. So this is most impressive. Both teams doing very well in the first half of play. Still another half to come. A lightning round will end things, and we'll uh, have a pop quiz waiting for them halfway through. They're playing right now for the video bonus category. We have a new toss-up. We're back in, players. Here we go. Among the songs from this musical's oddly named Act 3, wait, no, Act 2, are Always Look on the Bright Side of Life. Uh, Corona Ryan. Life of Brian. I'm sorry, that's a wrong answer. Kersley, you cannot confer. I'll, con I'll finish it. I'll continue for you. Uh, always look on the bright side of life and brave Sir Robin. Act one include Carrie. Spamalot. Spamalot. It's Monty Python, and Ryan had that figured out, but we were specifically looking for the Broadway musical Spamalot based on the Holy Grail. Video category now for Kersley. Some catching up to do, and you're getting closer. Uh, you'll see the first question come up on the monitor. Answer that one correctly. I'll have more in the category for you. We've got our producer, Susie Elkins, at the Impression 5 Science Center, and she has your first question. This is a view from the SOAR telescope, which is located at 9,000 feet altitude on Sierra Pachon, 300 miles north of Santiago, in what country? Chile. Chile, and you probably knew that because Santiago is the capital of Chile. Answer these questions about South American capitals. Stanley is the capital city of what self-governing overseas territory of the United Kingdom, which lies 300 miles off the coast of southern South America? Okay. Galapagos? Not the Galapagos. No, it's the one that they had a war with Argentina over in the 80s, the Falkland Islands. Falkland Islands. But you got 10 for Chile. Uh, 150, 100-point 100 game. We're all back in for a new toss-up question. The city of brass, the porter and the three ladies of Baghdad, Harun al-Rashid and the Arab girl, Aladdin and the lamp, Ali Baba and the 40 thieves, the first voyage of Sinbad the sailor, uh, Corona Ryan. 1001 Arabian Nights. Are four, uh, and those and about 995 other stories make up the 1001 Arabian Nights. And I could have taken any combination of saying it, and Ryan gave me a perfectly good one. Name, well, I think I got the wrong one here. Now, now I'm all confused. No, I was right. Name these ancient Egyptian deities, Corona. First, this king of the underworld and husband of Isis was Osiris. Almost, uh, what's that? Osiris. That's right. Egyptian pharaohs saw themselves as living embodiments of what falcon headed son of Osiris? Horus. Yeah. Horus is right. Yeah. Horus is also associated with what fertility goddess, often depicted with the head of a cow? Mm, I don't know. I, huh? no. I, said, I need your answer. You like Isis. No, Hathor. H-A-T-H-O-R. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, 20 points on your bonus, though, and you've got 280 new toss-up players. Her first song, L'Amour at Alonzo Rubel, describes how volatile love is. She then gives a carnation to Don Jose, whom she later abandons. Kersley Carey. Carmen. Say it. Carmen. Carmen is the right answer. Ten points. Kersley bonus. Answer these questions about the first unification of Germany. In the 1860s, which largest German state, led by Otto von Bismarck, spearheaded the drive for unification by launching three wars? Prussia. Prussia. Prussia? Prussia is right. The German Empire was proclaimed in 1871 at Versailles after a war with what country? What country? I need your answer. Russia? No, it was the Franco-Prussian War. It was France. Ten points on your bonus, 170. You trail by 110, 120 points on the line in our second pop quiz. Just two letters this time. Maybe this will challenge them a little. They've not had a hard time with the material so far. ES will be all your, uh, will begin all your correct answers. You know how the pop quiz works. Stephen from Corona, Justin from Kersley will start us off with the letters ES first. The European name for the Inuit people, the indigenous Stephen. Eskimo. Eskimo is right. Next, the tidal mouth of a river. 
The estuary is the mouth of the river. Finally, so necessary that one cannot do with Stephen. Essential. Essential is right. Ten points, and you're up to 300. Brian now from Corona and Kerry from Kersley. In the Bible, the son of Isaac, who was tricked out of his... Brian. Esau. Esau is right. Tricked by his younger twin, Jacob. Next. A former Soviet Republic on the Baltic Sea. Brian. Estonia. Estonia is right. Finally. To set up, found, bring into being. Brian. Establish. Establish is, not, is right. Three in a row for Brian. Well done. Captains now Charlie from Corona, Chad from Kersley. The two-word term for the speed an object must reach in order to break... Charlie. Escape velocity. That's right. Break free from gravitational pull. Next. Having a meaning which is understood only by those with the... Ne Charlie. Esoteric. Esoteric. The necessary in instruction or training. Finally. A formal contract or deed, usually involving money... Chad. A state. No, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Charlie. A formal contract or deed, usually involving money, which does not come into effect unst until some specific condition has been fulfilled. Charlie. Escrow. Escrow is the term. That's right. Ryan now from Corona. Kevin from Kersley. Strong coffee prepared by... Kevin. Espresso. Espresso is right. Forcing steam through finely ground beans. Next. A county in southeast England... Noted for its university. Ryan? Essex. Essex is right. Finally, the whole of a person's property left Kevin. Estate. That's when we needed a state, and that's our pop quiz. Good job, players. When we hear the fanfare, we're going to the lightning round. A few more toss-ups until then. Here we go, players. Prehistoric Lake Manly was located here between the Amargosa and the Panamint Ranges. What remains of the lake is an aquifer visible at Badwater, which at 282 feet below sea level is this depression's and its continent's lowest point. Corona Ryan. Dead Sea. No, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Kersley, I'll finish it. Don't confer. Is this depression's and its continent's lowest point? Name this hot California. Justin. Death Valley. Death Valley is right. Bonus category for Kersley. Name these, uh, excuse me, yes, name these related six letter terms from biology. First, this term refers to both haploid cells, egg and sperm, that join during fertilization. Gamete. Right. This word describes the diploid cell formed immediately after the sperm fertilizes the egg. Zygote. Zygote. Right. This word describes the developing organism after the zygote has begun dividing. Embryo. That's right. For 20, you got all three of those for 50. <laughs> New toss-up, players. This structure was so important that its administrator was given praetorial rank. It averaged 20 feet in width all the way from Brundisium to Tarentum to Capua to Rome. Corona Charlie. The Apian Way. The Apian Way, the Appian Way. That's exactly right. Corona bonus for you. Which punctuation mark or typographical symbol uh, fills each of the following conditions? F first, appears in in sync, as in the band. Apostrophe? No, not an apostrophe. It's an asterisk in there. Uh, a tough break there. No points. New toss-up players. This constant appears in the ideal gas law when the amount of gas present is expressed in molecules as it equals the gas constant divided by Avogadro's... Corona Charlie. R. No, I'm sorry. That's not right. Kersley. Uh, it equals the gas constant divided by Avogadro's number. Name this constant whose value in joules per Kelvin is 1.38 times 10 to the negative 23rd. Nope. And it's, it's called Boltzmann's constant. Boltzmann's constant. No points on that one, and we're heading to the lightning round. It's the last 60 seconds of a very exciting game. Nothing but toss-ups remain for these eight terrific players. We'll go as fast as we can get through them. You see the scores right there. Ten points when the players are right. But now we take ten points away when the players are wrong. The 60-second timer is set, and the lightning round begins now, what is the common term for a baby goose? Kevin. Gander. Wrong. What is the name of the colorless, odor odorless substance, sometimes called laughing gas? With the Just nitrous oxide. Right. With what Shakespearean title character would you associate Ophelia? Brian. Hamlet. Right. What shape would you associate with the class of worms known scientifically as nematoda? Justin. Circle. Or ring. 
wrong. What element with atomic number five has the symbol B? Stephen. Boron. Right. The Argus was a mythological creature which had 100 of what organ? Charlie. Ice. Right. What city is located with the, where the Allegheny and Monongahela rivers join to form the Ohio? Ryan. Uh, Philadelphia. Wrong. Who wrote the epic poem, The Song of Hiawatha? Time. What does the L stand for in the acronym AWOL? Kevin. Leave. Right. Of the five main vowels in the English language, which one is used least often? Charlie. You. Right. What red seasoning powder has it That's our time, and that's our game. And Corona, you've won with 400. When Justin said circle, he confused me, and then ring is wrong because they're not ringworms, they're roundworms. That's what I was looking for there. Gosling is a baby goose, and Pittsburgh is where the rivers uh, form, the three rivers form uh, in, in, in uh, Pennsylvania. Sensational game by both teams. Kersley, they were just a little faster than you on the buzzer. Clearly, both teams had the material down, and uh, we we're sorry that it ends our season with us here, but we know you play these sorts of things all season long. Best of luck in future tournaments. We're going to have a lot of wins ahead of you. You're a fine, fine team. Corona, congratulations to you. Strangely, our first 400 game of the season. We've had 500. We've even had a 600. But this is our first 400. A very impressive achievement, especially in tournament, now that we're into the tournament round, and especially against a good team. We'll see you back here later. We're going to white division action next time, the Blackhawks of Leslie and the Pirates of Tuamo, Australia. Thank you for watching the show, and remember that you can find out about all the uh, programming information, about all of our locally produced shows, including the brackets. Watch these teams get closer and closer to that grand championship on the web at W. KAR.org. You can even watch it if you're watching it right now on the web. Thank you for watching it. However you watched it, I'm Matt Ottinger. Enjoy. Production of Quizbusters is made possible in part by Consumers Energy, building Michigan's future by supporting excellence in education. Consumers Energy, count on us. And by viewers like you. Book scholarship awards for Quizbusters are provided by SBS, the student bookstore, located at 421 East Grand River Avenue in East Lansing. For more information about Quizbusters or any of WKAR's locally produced series or specials, visit our website at WKAR.org.